So I just graduated last year, 2012. Um, I was a member of the basketball team since 2009. And uh, I guess one of the things that I brought, or main things that I brought, was kind of a leadership um, in terms of the intensity and passion that I played with. Um, so I knew that this would be the best place to stay. And since I'd already kind of built up some projects in the lab, you know, I just kind of parlayed that into you know, a full-time position this year. You know, it's nice to be able to just watch the game as a, as a spectator and kind of see what's happening. Because, I mean, some, I was just telling uh, one of the assistant coaches, you know, when I'm at a home game, after the game, I'm kind of like, well, I don't really remember a lot that happened because I'm, you know, I'm yelling, I'm jumping up and down. So it kind of came easily once I allowed myself to be like, okay, this is what I'm doing you know, to go crazy and just be like, this is what fans are. Yeah, so in the immediate future, I'm going to transition coming out of my rehab to uh, play abroad. My goal is to do that for anywhere from one to four years, body dependent, um, <laughs> kind of my experience dependent. After that, my goal is to transition into kind of what I'm working on now is the MD, MBA. Uh, and with that, kind of both do kind of a surgical practice, but also uh, have an emphasis on health and wellness. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it definitely taught me to how to deal with post-basketball life because when you think about the most successful people, it's the ones that are passionate about what they do, uh, enthusiastic, they're willing to do anything in their power to accomplish their goal. Um, and that's what makes people at Stanford so successful, the people that go on to found, you know, the Googles or, you know, the high-tech ventures of the world or, you know, just make a difference.